Hello, so continuing on this weekly contest 17, um, the problem is called sum of nodes with even valued grandparents. And so the problem says that given a binary tree, return the sum of values with even grand with even valued grandparent. And uh, a grandparent of a node is the parent of its parent, of course, if, if that exists, if we can go up at, uh, to, um, to the grandparent. And if there are no nodes with an even valued grandparent, we just should just return zero. And so if we look at the example in this tree here, two's grandparent is six, which is even, right? Seven grandparent is six, which is even. So all the red ones are basically those that um, correspond to the criteria of having um, an even valued grandparent. One, it's grandparent six, three is a grandparent six, five is a grandparent eight. The other ones like four, it's a grandparent is seven, so it's not um it doesn't fit, so we don't add it. And basically we'll add those up and we should need to return so. And if you look at this, um this is a pretty straightforward um um tree question, right? So one thing we could do actually is okay, let's just use you could use BFS or DFS, both will work fine. So the first thing I'm going to look at is using DFS, uh, is using, sorry, BFS. And essentially what we can do is just do the normal BFS, right? Except for each node in the queue, add the parent and the node itself. So that when you are exploring a child of a node, you have the parent of that node and you can um, essentially check the, because the parent of the node of the the, if, if for a child, if you know the parent of its parent, then you can just check if it's um, if it's even, then you can just add it to the sum. So it's a very straightforward application of BFS. And so doing BFS, BFS here means that we would need to um, uh, we will need to create a queue, right? So let's import a collection here, and then we need a queue um, for BFS. And to the, for the queue, we'll need to add root, right? And then here, I want to add the parent value, right? But, so the parent value, because that's what I'm interested in, right? So in BFS, always you put in the queue the node and some data that you are interested in. For, for example, let's say finding the path, you put the level so that you can return that. Here, I want to put something for the root. I want to put the parent value. So my queue will contain node a pa and pa the parent of the node, the value of the parent of the node. Right. Now for the root, um, it doesn't have any parent. Its parent is none, right? So what's the value I can do? Well, what I'm interested in is just knowing if it's even or not. And so to make sure it doesn't get counted, I can just give it an uh, add value, right? If I give it an add value, it won't be counted in the final result that I will return. And so I could just put one here. And then the, my result would be, um, we need to be, I would need to initialize it so that I can add to it the the nodes that have grandparents with um, an even value, right? And so normal BFS, Q, and then I'm going to pop from the Q both the node and the parent value, right? That's what I put in. And so I pop left to get from the beginning. And then I, I'm going to go through the uh, children of the node, right? So for uh, basically child of the node is in either the left ch child or the right child, right? And I need to make sure that like it, ha it does have a child. It's not a leaf node, so I make sure child is not none. So I could do is not none here, but um, I could also just do that. And now um, I need to check if the parent value is, which I have here, the parent of the node, I have its value, and the parent of the node is the grandparent of the child. So that's exactly what I'm interested in. So I need to check if the parent value, which at this point is the grandparent of child, if that's um, even, then I need to add to my res. I need to add the child value, right? Because it's a grandparent, which is the parent of, it, of its parent, is uh, is even at this point, right? And then uh, I add the the child, right? Because I want to explore its own children. And so I add it to the queue. Child, a pair of a child, and the parent of child. What is the parent of child? It's known, right? And I need to pass its value, so I pass its value. And at this point, I could just return res once I'm done processing all the levels of the tree, right? And that's pretty much a very simple BFS. Um, so the main change from the normal BFS is I'm putting a pair in the queue with the second value being the 
parent value, the parent node's value. And then here for the child, since I have the parent of the node, I know the grandparent of the child, and I check if it's um, if it's uh, even. If it is, I add it to the sum, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's run this. Um, so, but while this is running, um, let's look at the time complexity here. So, the time complexity for this, in it's a, it's a BFS, right? So, it's a, a node of V plus E. So, what are B and E? So, this is a tree. So, we have the number of nodes are, let's say the number of nodes of the tree is N. Um, the number of edges is the, um, is the head of the tree. So, um, Um, so the time complexity is as I say, is uh, O V plus E, which is um, the for the edges it cannot be more than um, two nodes. It cannot be more than you can see here. It cannot be more than two edges per node, and so it's at most that. And so we have like it's open. Um, so the time complexity in general here is open. Um, space complexity we are using of course that Q here um, and we are using just one single variable after that the Q will contain at most the number of nodes right so it's open um, yeah so that's pretty good now let's see how we can let's see the if our submission pass it here so submission set timeout which means there is um, some problem here so root and then node So we add the root node here, and then pop. Hmm. I think it's maybe it's a problem with lead code. Let's we'll see. Yeah, so it was a problem with the card. So this passes. Um, now let's see how we can solve this with DFS. Same thing, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing we need to do is um, we will need to pass the parent value as I did here in the queue um, as the second value. I will need to pass it also in the DFS method, right? So let's just define something like this. For DFS, we need the function for DFS itself. So I'm going to define a DFS function that takes in the node um, the parent value and the grandparent value, All right? And so um, both will start off for the root node. Let's just make sure make the minus one and minus one. That's odd, so it won't be counted. And just to distinguish it for ourselves, uh, we could also pass it as one because that's also odd. Just any value odd so that it doesn't get added to the sum. Um, and then for the final sum that we need to return, let's just define it here. Um, so that's what we need to return. And we will need to call DFS, right? So to call DFS on the root node, just say root, uh, and by default it will be one and one, so we don't need to pass it. And then we need to check, same thing we did if this is still a node, right? If it's not none, then we need to check it's a grandparent. That's literally what the problem says. If it's a grandparent is even, then we need to count it. So that means we need to add its value to the sum, right? Um, and after that, we need to explore it. It's uh, both its children. That's what DFS does. So we need to explore node left. What is the parent now? The parent now is node. The, the value of the parent at this point is node val. And what is the grandparent? It's the parent of the node. So it's p val. And we do a similar thing for the right node, right? And that's pretty much it. And it's very straightforward like this. So just, exp uh, yeah, GP val, yeah. So it's just passing the grand, the, this parent value so that the next node has its grandparent value and can check. That's the main idea here. Otherwise, it's the same straightforward um, DFS. Uh, here it should be self -tarous.
Okay, so that passes. Um, yeah, so that's all for this problem. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.